Hello guys and welcome to the new video. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel because we got more videos coming very soon, so stay tuned. This one is a little different because we're talking about the metaverse, the new virtual world that's coming to us. First, let's see what is metaverse. At first mention, you may think the metaverse sounds like a fantasy world in the latest futuristic Hollywood blockbuster, and truth be told, you're not wrong. It's called Web 3.0. But let me explain. The internet age has known many definitions. At the beginning, there was what we call now Web 1.0, back then simply named as Web, where we developed the first websites, portals, and online services, and users could only read the information without the chance of a direct interaction. It was the Web of one-way communication, Web 1.0, which refers to the first stage of the World Wide Web evolution. Earlier, there were only a few content creators with a huge majority of users who are consumers of content. Web 2.0 refers to worldwide websites which highlight user-generated content, usability, and interoperability for end-users. Web 2.0 is also called the participative social web. It doesn't refer to a modification to any technical specification, but to modify the web pages are designed and used. Web 3.0 is a term that is used to describe many evolutions of web usage and interaction among several paths. In this, data isn't owned but instead shared, where services show different views for the same web. The metaverse is a perfect fusion of physical, augmented, and virtual reality. The metaverse is a public virtual world that may be accessed via the internet. It creates a virtual world experience by simulating human emotions and gestures almost everything you can imagine. If you want to fly, well, you can. Imagine, in a few years, you can go into your job in the metaverse. You can buy a house if you want, or even some land, because living in the metaverse is becoming more and more real. Sounds unrealistic or silly, but it's true. There are currently concerts happening in the metaverse, and not a lot of people are talking about it. You only put the headset on your head and that's it. You're all logged in and ready to explore. Just as the physical universe is a collection of worlds that are connected in space, the metaverse can be thought of as a bunch of worlds too. Ultimately, we're talking about creating another reality, another world that's as rich as the real world. Big tech companies are really excited about this particular idea. For now though, everything is in the early stages. Facebook has said that if it were to happen, it would still take another 10 to 15 years to fully complete. There are a lot of good things when we're talking about the metaverse, like you can explore any information you want in a matter of seconds. You can learn and explore something that you didn't even find that interesting before. As crypto and NFT are very popular every day, of course it's the main source of payment in the metaverse. There are so many possibilities, especially for the next generations that are coming. Also, the human civilization won't be the same after this, and the progress of humanity will be increasing more and more as the years pass by. But we didn't talk about the negative sides of the metaverse and how it will affect the brain and the mentality of most people. People already spend too much time on their phones and computers, so what if you put on the headset where you couldn't recognize the real world from a virtual one? How will people deal with the depression? Why be sad when you can be a superhero in some other reality? A lot of people are going to have problems because of this, and they'll leave their real life behind for something that's not real. Hanging out with people won't be in cafes and parks because why drive all the way to the cafe when you can just teleport in virtual reality in a second and communicate with your friends? The whole social interaction will be changed since people won't leave their house. The whole system is being made to replace humans as much as possible and put them in a reality where they're harmless and unknowing what's happening. What do you think about the metaverse? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel because we got more videos coming out.